Rice has been successfully grown in space by China. The first rice seeds grown in orbit were returned to Earth on December 4. The third batch of space research experiment samples arrived with a return capsule with its Shenzhou 14 crew's return on December 4. Additionally, it contains the first rice plants grown in space. It is also known as tail grass or Arabidopsis thailana experimental seeds. Both of these plants were grown over a 120-day period in space, from seed to seed. The development cycle was finished in a relatively short time. Today, we take a dive into uncovering China's yet another amazing accomplishment in space exploration. Stay tuned until the end of the video in order to know all about it. China has made significant strides in its space program in the recent years and is often referred to as a rising star in the field of space exploration. The China National Space Administration is the National Space Agency of China and is responsible for the country's space program. Some notable achievements of China's space program include launching the first Chinese spacecraft, the Shenzhou-1, in 1999. Second, sending the first Chinese astronaut, also known as Taikonaut, into space in 2003. Third, launching the Tiangong-1 Space Laboratory in 2011 and the Tiangong-2 Space Laboratory in 2016. Fourth, launching the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program, which has included successful landing of the Chang'e 3 spacecraft on the moon in 2013 and the deployment of the U-2 rover. Lastly, launching the China Space Station in 2011, which is currently in operation and serves as a platform for a variety of scientific experiments. China has also made significant contributions to international space cooperation, including participating in the International Space Station and collaborating with other countries on various space-related projects. Overall, China's space program has made significant progress in recent years and is seen as a major player in the field of space exploration. Finding new habitats in space for the survival of human beings as well as astronauts is one of the crucial goals which are included in China's space exploration program. One of the most important factors in this quest is ensuring an adequate and nutritious food supply for the survival of astronauts and cosmonauts during space missions. In order to meet the nutritional needs of astronauts, space agencies must provide a variety of food items that are suitable for long-term storage and easy to prepare in the challenging conditions of space. Space food is typically packaged in lightweight, compact packaging that is easy to store and transport. It is often freeze-dried, dehydrated, or vacuum-sealed to extend its shelf life and reduce its weight and volume. Some space food is also irradiated to reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. Astronauts have a limited amount of space and resources on spacecraft, so they typically have a relatively narrow range of food options to choose from. This can lead to monotony and a lack of variety in their diet, which can be a challenge for maintaining morale and overall health. Growing plants in space can be challenging due to the unique environmental conditions found in microgravity, such as the lack of gravity, extreme temperature fluctuations and high levels of radiation. Microgravity is the condition of near-zero gravity that exists in space. It can have a range of effects on living organisms, including plants. In microgravity, plants may experience changes in the way they grow and develop, as well as challenges in their physical and biochemical characteristics. To help address this issue, scientists and researchers are working to understand the effects of these conditions conditions on plant growth and development and to develop strategies and technologies to overcome these challenges. China has been working on developing new food technologies and techniques that can provide more diverse and appealing options for space travelers, which could ultimately also come in handy once we discover a suitable habitat where living beings can thrive.
In light of all this, a report done by the Global Times claims that roughly half of the world's population is being fed rice. It is regarded as a crucial component for life support systems in upcoming large-scale human space exploration. Tail grass is a small flowering plant that is often used as a model organism in plant biology research due to its small size, short life cycle, and ease of cultivation. According to specialists, it is essential to make sure that plants can successfully complete the generation transition and reproduce in space if humans are to live in space for an extended period of time. Rice was unable to complete a full growth cycle in the space environment. Only white grass, ray pea, and wheat have previously done so successfully. However, late in July, the Wenchen Lab module sent experimental rice and Thalcra seeds into orbit. The 120-day experiment began on July 29 when nutrients were injected and it was completed on November 25. Thalcra and rice seeds grow, bloom, and set seed during this process. According to preliminary findings, rice plants have loosened significant leaf corners in space. Tall grain rice's height was not considerably impacted. However, small grain kernels were shrunk. Additionally, the biological clock controlled upward spiraling growth of rice leaves became more pronounced in space. The choice of thale cress and rice for this experiment was made for a number of reasons. Thali cress is a symbol for a variety of vegetables, including oil seeds and bok choy. Contrarily, rice is a symbol for numerous cereal crops, including corn and wheat. Zheng Hui Kyung, a researcher, stated that the issue of growing food in space must be resolved as human deep space exploration advances and it becomes increasingly difficult to rely solely on food brought from Earth to sustain lengthy space flights. He pointed out that because of life on Earth cannot safely endure the severe conditions of space, future space crops must be grown in a totally sealed, artificial environment. As a result, crops raised in space must be high-yielding, high-quality, and energy-efficient. A leading researcher in the field, Song Zhongping, stated that breeding in space requires two factors, microgravity and cosmic ray exposure, which results in genetic abnormalities. Now that the Mengqian Lab module of China Space Station has a platform for extravehicular experiments, we may deploy our space breeding experimental payloads outside the cabin, making the findings even more valuable. The Chinese space station has entered a long-term simulation application mode, according to Song, which would allow it to nurture more varieties of plants and complete full-cycle growth, such as fruits and vegetables. This mode was enabled by the arrival of the Shenzhou 15 crew. According to experts, China may work together with other nations in this area to increase food production, especially for those in Africa and Latin America who are expecting food shortages. This is a very good step taken by the country to address the problems of food shortage costs due to climatic changes all over the world. The third world countries, including Africa and Latin America along with Asian countries would benefit a lot now that crop production is possible even with a small number of resources available. It is worth noting that the cultivation of plants in space is still in the early stages of development and research. While some plants such as thale cress and rice may be more suitable for growing in space than others, there is still much to learn about the best approaches and technologies for cultivating plants in microgravity. Hence, it is a start for the many more accomplishments to come. Although this accomplishment is not very big, it is one of the most crucial ones, bringing mankind a step closer to deep space exploration and survival in space. If you have been following my previous videos, you are aware of the fact that China is progressing by leaps and bounds in the field of space.
it seems that it is not far from the rising world power before it is able to find a key to the survival of human beings in space and beyond. What do you think about the progress of China in space? Let us know in the comments down below.